Well, we're about three weeks into being quarantined at home with no end in sight. So here's another great workout to get you off on the right foot this week. One thing I won't do is let you tell me that I can't be great. Who gonna stop me now? Can't be great. Who gonna stop me now? First of all, I just want to say I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy and staying home to protect yourselves as well as everybody else. So anyway, this week's video is another body weight circuit that builds a little bit on last week's workout. It starts with some basic dynamic warm-ups and stretches to get your heart rate going and your muscles warmed up, followed by a full body workout that has a heavy focus on core work. Building a strong core should be the focus of any exercise program because it keeps your back healthy and less prone to injury, helps with your posture, and also allows you to safely perform all the exercises that you want to do uh, with proper form. There's 10 timed exercises in this video, with the last one being an optional fun finisher exercise, and I'll explain a little bit more about that as we get to it. I hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I am making them. It's really a labor of love uh, for me. I, I just want to really do my part to help out in this time, and, uh, and I hope everyone's benefiting from it. So make sure you save these so you have them easily referenced in the future, so you can repeat these workouts when you want to. And please share them with anyone you think would enjoy them as well or benefit from trying these workouts. So I'd like to try starting something positive here. Film yourself doing any part of these workouts each week. And what I want you to do is post it up on your story feed on Instagram. And make sure you tag the Fit Lab and also Quarantine Workout as the hashtag. We'll repost everyone who does it, and this will be our way of helping to spread this positivity out there to others who need it. Anyway, that's it. Let's go get after it. For the victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer, come work for Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore Touch burning sands, cross lands and Stormy shore, shore seasons in the year, yeah Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear Yup, the champ is here, switch gears With you can hear this in the rear At the blood, sweat and tears and my goal so near I see my victory so clear I see my victory so clear But that's not by speculation But the position that I got I climb too high to fall Went too hard to drop Stop clocks on the speed bag Every yell under pressure, no jet lag This is greater than trophies and saluted flags Titles of fame, the cost is paid Yay. I, I, I give it the cost I made Deal with the dealer Baby, the hand was played New level, next stage Learn to lead as a legend Now tell me what's my next stage yeah. I said the champ is here, Swiss gears We keeping haters in the rear At the blood, sweat and tears in my go so near I said my back is so clear
All right, so it's about that time. You made it, it's the end. This is the last one. It's the finisher exercise called prison push-ups. One of my favorites. I don't do it every workout. I do it once every few workouts um, because it is a killer. That's why we call it a finisher exercise. You're basically gonna go down, you're gonna do one push-up, you're gonna jump right back up again, and you're gonna do one lateral raise, hands clapping at the top. You're gonna go back down, you're gonna do two push-ups. You're gonna jump back up again, you're gonna do two lateral raises up in the air, okay? And so on and so forth until you get to 10 and 10. And I will be honest with you, most people, you're not gonna get to 10 and 10, and that is just fine. There's respect in just even trying this and getting as far as you possibly can. See what you got left in the tank after you do this, whatever, if you only did this whole workout for one round, go for it at the end of the first round. If you're going for a couple rounds or three or four, whatever it may be, do this at the end of the workout when you have a little less left in the tank. It's your finisher exercise. You don't want to do more rounds of this after you do this. It will really hit you. <laughs> so uh, burn you out a little bit and that's fine. If you're a beginner, get through maybe, I don't know, see if you got three, maybe up to five. That's fine, especially after doing all the other stuff. Six to eight rounds in that range, that's where it really starts kicking in and getting tough. And then, you know, eight to 10, it's pure mental toughness at that point. Get through as many as you can. If your body's telling you to stop, listen to it. Do not push past it if you feel like you cannot. You don't want to injure yourself. So anyway, I'm going to head back there and we're going to get started. And I'm looking forward to getting away from all these flies. Uh, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how many rounds you got through and how you feel afterwards. Have fun and I will see you guys in the next one.